everybody, welcome back. We are going to be making another soda cake today. So I actually am going to be, we're going to be trying a carrot cake with um, just the seltzer water again, different brand. It's not lemon lime flavored, fun fact. It's just plain seltzer water. So we're going to be making a vegan soda carrot cake and then vegan cream cheese frosting to go with it. So we'll get started. Carrot soda cake. Wishes luck. Would it be carrot cake soda cake or just carrot soda cake? Because carrot soda cake sounds kind of weird. So you really don't need anything that it says you need on the box. You just need seltzer water. Yeah, again. so if you look there, it wants you to add eggs, water, and vegetable, vegetable oil. oil. Yeah. So we're going with this instead. So this smells like cinnamon carrot cake right now. Oh god, I like this. It smells like it, it smells like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yes. Like yes, it does. Combined. <laughs> We're not going to explode this time. Maybe Are a we? little. It's a bit bubbly. Now we're British, huh? We're British? <laughs> okay. Well, well yeah, that's fine. Used to be. A little bit bubbly. I think you're good. I think you're good. Clutch. I'm a little concerned that this is still bubbling. Y'all see that? Can you hear it? I don't know. I'm assuming you can hear it. It's bubbly as hell. You're using a measuring cup? I am this time. I want to know. What? I'm curious. Okay. That's half a cup. I'm sorry. We're gonna do. We're gonna do like a three three quarter cup. But basically, it's like foamy. Yeah. Do you want me to stir it? It smells so good. Too bad y'all can't smell it. It literally smells like Christmas, like cinnamon and. Ginger. Yes, ginger. ginger. That's what it is. Yes. Sorry, y'all. You don't get to smell it. It's, uh, it's not doing so well right now. So we're about at about a cup of water, of seltzer water. And a little more of water? Yeah. Oh, you didn't use the measuring cup. I didn't. No, I didn't. A little bit over a cup. Sorry, no exact measurements for you bakers out there. But it's about, like, you know, quarter. Let's say about a quarter of that. So, like, whatever about one... A third of the way, third of the way through the bottle, maybe. Reminder, it's 9.42 at night, and we're baking. By the way, this is what it looks like when it's all mixed up. It's a cakeish consistency. Ish. It's close. Close enough. Now we move to those. Into the cupcake tins. All right, so cupcakes are in the cupcake tins. We are awaiting the oven to preheat again because we don't know how to do it in advance. Super awkward. They will be in the oven for about probably 15 minutes according to said box. We don't listen to boxes, so we'll see how long this actually lasts. Now we're just going to open the oven. I guess you guys can see that. And then take, holy hot, okay, and then we're going to take this, and then slide it in, close the door, and then set this timer thing, 15 minutes, I think 15 minutes, I'm pretty sure that's what she said, I'm 2 out of 10 percent sure, 2 out of 10, 2 out of 10 percent, I'm 2 out of 10 that she said 15 minutes, so we're going with 15 minutes. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Frozen's not dead. I'm sorry you had to witness that. Okay, so now that the carrot cake cupcakes are in the oven, we are going to make vegan cream cheese frosting for them. Because what's carrot cake without cream cheese frosting? Duh. 9.56, ladies and gentlemen. 9.56 p.m. We're alive. That's all that matters. So, recipe calls for a third of a cup of vegan butter which is five tablespoons. And then we also have this Go Veggie Vegan Cream Cheese. You need half of this? Yes, and I will set up the mixer because we need our handy dandy mixer. And then we need two and a half to three cups of powdered sugar. Tell Anna she needs to get a camera. 
I'm sorry. I'm trying. I need to find my camera charger. That's what I need to do. I agree. Ugh. This is what our vegan cream cheese frosting looks like, which is super exciting. Looks like cream cheese frosting. Over there we have our, whoop, there, our carrot cake cupcakes and our cream cheese frosting. So the cream cheese frosting is basically just powdered sugar with um, vegan cream cheese and vegan butter. So that's going to go on top of the carrot cake soda cake cupcakes question mark when they cool. Carrot soda cake? question mark yeah so carrots. Cake, carrots carrots of cake of soda but we are starting round two of cupcakes because i have two different cupcakes to make and we're doing funfetti funfetti cupcakes but we don't have sprinkles i know there's no sprinkles no for sprinkles. the frosting um actually we're not making the second frosting fun fact duncan hines whipped is vegan unless you get the chocolate because then it has milk products in it but the vanilla one is vegan and it's super exciting and much easier for my life Oh my gosh, it's gonna be fine. Oh. <laughs> the sassy pants over here has pointed out once again that I did not add enough soda water to batch one of carrot soda cake cupcakes. It's 1024, I had an exam today and I've been up since 645, so today is going great. Okay, yeah, really good. This is how simple it is. Literally, Two things you have to worry about, and it's easy. It's All right, Funfetti cupcakes are in the cupcake tins. They are going in the oven probably for about 20 minutes. I think the carrot cake cupcakes were in there for about 20-ish minutes. Yep. Um, so probably about 20 minutes, and we'll check in with you guys in a minute. All right, so our carrot cake cupcakes have cooled, and we're going to attempt to frost them while Will stoppishly gets me from the corner. You see him? Um, I have absolutely no idea how this is going to turn out. I'm hoping that the frosting stays on the darn cupcakes. This is going to be a hot mess. Cream cheese frosted carrot cake cupcakes are done. They're a little gooey. Very. There's nothing wrong with that. These are for forensics Thanksgiving. So I will be trying them tomorrow. But yeah, so they are done. That is how you done do that. And we're still waiting for the Funfetti cupcakes to get out of the oven. And actually, we have a whole bunch of cream cheese frosting left over. So I think we're just going to put that on the Funfetti cupcakes, too. Because I don't feel like storing that anywhere. And this is a lot easier than the regular frosting. Right. But this is, like, super duper thin, which makes it awesome. You and know, it's for sure vegan. Oh, yeah. Like, homemade good, not bought from a store. Right. Not processed in a facility that also contains milk, eggs, and yes. nuts, I think the other one is. Mm -hmm. Processed by... Yours truly, and beaters, and shenanigans. It is 1041. Cupcakes are done. The Funfetti cupcakes. Uh, we got a few more. We got 12 of the carrot cake ones and 16. 12 plus 4, 16. Yep, 16. 16 of the Funfetti cupcakes. So they are done, and we are going to frost them, and then that is it. Then we are done with our baking shenanigans for today. It is 11.0. 3.